Hi everyone this is Chaitra Ali I welcome you behalf on Deccan Express with our special show that is the officer today in our special episodes the officer with Deccan Express we are going to meet one of the most iron lady officer a girl from Amchi Mumbai she has an example to all our youngsters especially the female a real supul model who with passionate to achieve the success with her determination hard work a good orator a good in academics as well as a social consciousness her transformation journey who picked up the job in railway service department as well as later served as a manager with sebi but later she with her additional qualification with masters in commerce gold medalist in icaw as well as masters in law in her first attempt she cleared Maharashtra State Public Service Commission's exam and stood first in Maharashtra State. She has served almost 17 years in police department, served in Nashik Rural, Kheda, Khalapur, Buldhana, worked in NIA that is National Investigation Agency for 4 years. For which she has also been awarded with DG Silver Medal for her exemplary services in performance in NIA. The newly formed Pune's Twin City, she has served at DCP zone as well as served in coastal service department in mumbai now serving as zone 5 in pune commissionerate office which has been jurisdiction of mundwa hadapsar loni karbor kondwa bibewadi market yard vanodi this is none other than i'm talking about dcp namrata patil ma'am mother of three daughters and caring daughter in law an adorable wife hello ma'am i welcome you behalf of a new channel to deccan express hello Thank you. Ma'am, after looking at your bio data, I'm very glad and speechless to see how many things you have achieved and you have played lot of roles. You have served in railway, you have served in SEBI, you have served in police department, coastal security, NIA and how many roles you have played so much and which has prompted me to ask you one particular question. How do you plan to take up serving as in police department because i i know that you have already got a permanent job a good marriage material job that is required as a female in uh, indian traditional culture how did you pick up this particular job well i always wanted to do some field job uh, but then uh, during my earlier education period uh, i had to try for earning bread and butter for my family so i took up my first job in railways i cleared a railway recruitment board exam and took up the first clerical job that was offered to me in railways that job helped me to clear my graduation services while in railways i completed my graduation and post graduation and uh, i worked there for 7 years during that period only i started uh, preparing for my civil services so during railways only i was studying for my graduation post graduation i did my icw there based on that education i gave exams i got clear into uh, sebi securities exchange board of india and then took up uh, a job as a manager in sebi so but then i was not satisfied i wanted to do some field job uh, sitting in a cubicle doing a typical 10 to 6 job was not my nature so i wanted to do some field job so i was also preparing for civil services so i took up this uh, mpsc exam that was uh, there scheduled and uh, in my first attempt i was selected uh, i stood first in maharashtra and i took up this dysp job nothing was planned as such as and when the opportunities came i selected uh, and i uh, give my best for that during the early period uh, getting a good job was the priority later on of course uh, with my education i could be a little selective which job i want to pursue what uh, career i would like to have and in that journey of course my family helped me a lot because though i had a job I, uh, there was never a pressure to as you said to get married or something of that sort i was given a, a free hand to pursue my higher studies and do whatever best i can for my uh, with my career so of course with that uh, motivation i could do that and once i joined uh, this police department i 
I'm glad and I'm, I have the, that opportunity to serve in different parts of Maharashtra, also with NIA. And uh, all that experiences, of course, that uh, do add to your personality as well as to your experience and how you manage the situation. So it was not planned as such, but I decided to take up a few challenges and uh, till now I, I think I have succeeded in that. Now next. Now next, I said, I haven't, I haven't planned anything. No, no, neither the job in SEBI, nothing was planned. But yes, I did uh, took a few risks with uh, and a few challenges. And I thought that if with, the, with her proper studies, with proper determination, if you go about it, you can achieve anything. Ma'am, you have worked in SEBI as well as in railway department. Have this ever helped you in in police department investigation? Uh, those were not that kind of job which can help me but yes they gave me some confidence of course because uh, in railways I had already worked for seven years uh, and then in SEBI also I was at managerial post which uh, in which I could deal with many uh, people related with share market and all of course whenever now the economic offenses etc come related to companies my educational background as well as my experience in SEBI helped me to uh, sort out uh, those things that helped me in my investigation as well. Ma'am, DCP Zone 5 is one of the biggest area altogether because uh, initial stage, this was not a, a Zone 5 was never a component. It was divided in uh, Pune City Commissioner Office was divided into four zones, but fifth zone was incorporated. And if we see you are the first female to get an opportunity to serve as a DCP Zone 5 and covering the one of the most sensitive area that is Vanodi. Mundwa, Bibbewadi, Kondwa, Market Yard. What is your strategies and what is your pattern of working? See, in uh, Pune city, now there are five zones, and out of those five zones, uh, uh, we can say uh, proudly that three zones are managed by lady officers. So there is nothing like uh, the first lady officer or something like that. We all do uh, do the same, give the same exam, do the same training, and we do, uh, do, do the same job actually. So, but yes. The particular zone 5 area has its own challenges because it is no, basically a suburb of Pune city, uh, has still a developing area, Luni Karbhor is newly added to the commissionerate, so it has still that uh, uh, rural flavor in it. So the kind of uh, calls that we get from there, kind of uh, uh, offenses that are registered there, are still still have that uh, rural flavor. And other, uh, even other part of the police stations, the other parts are also still little developing. Lot of land grabbing, lot of uh, uh, cases with against women. So of course it has its own challenges, but. Uh, with due with, with my experience and with the help of senior officers as well as my colleagues we had we are able to maintain law and order in the area till now whatever uh, offenses that have happened in this area we are glad especially in offenses against women as a lady officer I could say I have that sensitivity so of course I could motivate my people to go and unearth those uh, cases and make proper documentation of them so that we can give justice to those uh, girls and women so of course uh, it has these challenges but uh, we are uh, going out with it so that with all our heart with all our uh, efforts so that we can maintain law and order and give the citizens their due from the police department. Ma'am, what are the initiatives as a Zone 5 officer you have taken in this area? In this uh, uh, Zone 5, whatever little resources that we have from which we do maintain the Damini Marshall schemes, we do maintain the Bit Marshall schemes, we have also in the the new initiatives that has been uh, taken by uh, CP sir about my safe city uh, Pune app. From that now our people go to the places, click their photos, upload uh, to the app from which the geotagging is also there. So we are able to uh, monitor their patrolling pattern. We can suggest them even now uh, if you see the Twitter then we do ask the citizen themselves whether you want patrolling in some area and uh, as per suggestions by the citizen we do add to the spots because uh, we uh, in zone 5 we have so many isolated spots we have so many areas like I have Bobdevghat and I also have Saswar Divegat 
so all those things are still not very well uh, connected to the city so we do try to uh, give a, uh, our patrolling to those areas as well and we do take uh, citizens uh, uh, feedback also in that okay so for you citizen feedback plays a vital role yeah with that only we can uh, uh, improve our services otherwise uh, whatever traditionally that we used to do our people used to go and do patrolling in the area now at the accountability is also there for them we can check cross check whether they have really uh, been to the spot as well as we can give the same uh, feedback to the citizens that yes we have uh, done this and do we do have uh, whatever claims that we make we do have empirical data for that mm -hmm. that we had been there so that we are using technology so that we can uh, give better services to citizens ma'am the next question to you is khaki is often a male dominated area khaki uniform or police department being a female police officer as well as leader of this particular jurisdiction do you think that you have been accepted by the your own khaki men or uh, khaki serving people because it's a male dominating all together as well as how did you cope up with this covid crisis traditionally uh, khaki is male dominated but yes we the other part of khaki is that we are also a discipline force so whatever hierarchy is there we do respect that whether me or my subordinates or my superiors also so and now there is much more it is not like uh, 20 30 years back where female officers female were seen very few and far now uh in department also we need female ladies officers for investigation of uh, sensitive crimes and of course not only offenses related to women but other offenses also we are able and capable of uh, investigating them even in law and order situations we need women officers in on field so of course uh, that acceptance is there and otherwise also it is a disciplined force so they do respect you at least uh, and uh, if you say about the covid situation yes it was a little challenging because for all the police officers all the frontline workers for that matter because uh, everybody was staying at home and uh, stay home and protect yourself was the mantra but uh, during the initial period when we were out of course we had that responsibility added responsibility of not getting infected as well as keeping our family safe Uh, up from the covid so when i used to go or everybody in that um, manner we when we used to go uh, home so the strict protocol covid protocol not to touch the children should not come and meet you and hug you as they always do and then you should just go shower yourself and then after all sanitizing you can go and meet them that was the protocol and we still follow it because of which only by god's grace till now we have uh, our family is safe from covid and that has been the case with many of us a uh, few of our officers uh, they got in uh, when they got infected some of them have uh, succumbed to the uh, illness also but uh, majorly it was a challenge uh, of course to keep ourselves safe as well as our families but we somehow managed that ma'am between 2013 to 17 you have served under ni and uh, that was a crucial year in which lot of terror activities were taking places and a uh, lot of using of social media these youths were driven towards us, such troops so ma'am can you share about your experience and what work you have done over there in uh, nia i have investigated two cases uh, pertaining to a uh, proscribed terrorist organization isis in that uh, and of course some other cases as well but these two cases uh, we realize how the even the educated youth which has been lured into all these through the social media into terror uh, outfits and uh, what is their modus operandi how they operate and uh, how our the youth of our country is been uh, going into this thing and um, of course uh, since ni has a pan india uh, existence we could focus on some cases with national uh, having national emergencies so of course uh, that added to the experience and uh, with that experience now while working uh, in state police to all the terror alerts for all the inputs that we get i do get some thing more out of that that information whatever is i can read between the lines what can be the major propaganda major thing behind that all propaganda and of course that has uh, also helps me while i am working here crime has been changing 
techno savvy is another aspect that is becoming proof and in addition to it even initially most of the criminals were not aware about the law aspect but now they are much more aware about the law so ma'am what is your observation on it yes the more and more educated uh, people uh, we can find among the youths there there is much more use of technology much more use of uh, all the gadgets that are been used all new technologies all the new 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 applications that are uh, used by them they let that be uh, sexual offenses or any cheating fraud cases so of course it's a big challenge there is a lot of increase in uh, cyber offenses use of uh, social media that is a big uh, means now which is used for uh, committing crime as well as uh, uh, for spreading hatred amongst the society so we have to be a little uh, uh, ready to face all those challenges we also give training to our uh, people we do update ourselves about the new trends in technology how the new apps how the new software are being used but uh, that re- still remains a challenge unfortunately uh, for the use of social media there is no as such syllabus nothing is been taught to anybody anybody buys a st- smartphone and just starts working start uploading and uh, forwarding things without giving a second thought about the authenticity of the things that he has received so that do create lot of problem but do we do use social media labs as well as our informa system so that we come to uh, to get in information about those who are uh, spreading all that hatred amongst others but uh, still the social media and uh, its challenges are there for us to fight for when uh, we are do facing that those problems and uh, trying a close watch on the social media activities most of the sensitive uh, crime that is handling a woman and you yourself have seen a lot of women approaching you with their own grievances their own victimizations uh, stories that come up to you so do you think that uh, young girls or we see the female are more drawn or fallen prey to this glamour world uh, falling trending to social media like you pointed out or uh, even party animal using social media platform do you think that what is your take on the young crowd that is coming up Not not only female all the youth nowadays they are falling prey to the whatever is propagandized there on social media let that be about money let that be about career so many we see job brackets that are uh, there they are shown that some kind of jobs are there for them and uh, all are just sh- uh, go for it anything that is been sold on it 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 is just it's just mass marketing mass hypnotization kind of thing because of which nobody questions the authenticity authenticity of whatever they are watching on social media whatever is been uh, has been coming on social media so that remains a challenge because uh, nobody cares to uh, cross check and then this just forward it they just uh, accept it any friend request so let that be a girl or boy if it is come from unknown source they should first verify why somebody is uh, now instagram is a new thing there are people get uh, troll for so easily people get troll uh, and also that makes them uh, less confident about themselves also the followers or whatever uh, uh, likes that they get on social media sometimes they break or make them so mm-hmm. that is also a big challenge and uh, that you youth and another added uh, thing is because of covid now the education and uh, even the work has been shifted to online platform so it is difficult to keep a tab on how much ta- time is uh, spent for studies and how much time is uh, spent for all the social media sites and other things so we do find several cases where uh, parents do come to us and uh, they they say that their children they that be a boy or girl they they ha- they are victim of all those things uh, for which they are been targeted by use of social media so of course uh, it becomes a big challenge and uh, a few except for a few parents who them know themselves how to use social media many of the parents they are themselves not aware of the tactics and uh, the tricks of social media so they cannot uh, keep tab or monitor the activities of their children on online platform
Ma'am, you have mentioned that you know lot of parents approach you uh, about their children using social media. So, ma'am, uh, we came to know that you yourself also in your free time or whenever you are sitting uh, over here, you call such students and some children and counsel them. We would like to know about it. It's uh, as and when we come across all those uh, incidences, uh, many people now know that uh, we also help uh, in those counselling. We do try to counsel the children as well, because uh, in the recent past there was a boy who came from Chennai uh, all the way to Pune just because uh, he had met a girl on social media, and uh, looking at her profile, he thought that she may be a major. When they met. he found out that she was only 13 years old and then the parents also caught that boy they brought to the police station and then he told that he was uh, with her looks and other things he was just uh, uh, sorry that he had come so far and uh, the they will not maintain any any further relationship but then it is just because her parents came to know about it or the boy himself was also uh, he agreed that he had made a mistake that does not happen every time we do know that people do make travels they that be a boy or girl they do travel and try to meet the person who on whom they have met on a social media platform without knowing whether that person's identity that has been shown to them is really true or not they can't cross check it whatever profile pics are there whatever uh, their profile information shows data shows that may not be true and before uh, uh, accepting all those things uh, before cross checking that if we, uh, without informing their parents they are doing that it will definitely land them in trouble we have seen that many a times uh, young children eloping from their uh, houses going to um, and then they are falling prey to other people other bad social elements whom they met in during their journey let that be uh, on the railway stations on the road anywhere so that's still dangerous and we try to make them aware of the dangers uh, but then it's a, it's a difficult job all together ma'am some personal question to you which role according to you is a toughest and a challenging one role of a daughter role of a daughter in law role of a wife or serving in police department or role of a mother well in the present situation everybody will agree that uh, being a parent let that be a mother or father is a most difficult and challenging thing uh, during the covid circumstances but that's a, a funny part let's keep it apart but uh, i like my job so i do not find the uh, the challenges make me more uh, uh, alert and more professional so i do like it ha huh, being mother is little uh, <coughs> tough uh, you don't have fixed schedules or you can't uh, attend to many of their uh, uh, functions or some things you can't give them time as such other which other uh, parents can do uh, because even we can't plan anything for weekend we can't plan anything <laughs> for uh, their birthday parties nothing because we don't know what will be our schedule so yes this is difficult thing but they also over the years have accepted and gracefully accepted <laughs> that uh, that's a part of job and we will not be there but uh, yes uh, sometimes the guilt is only for the family that you can't give them much time the time which i give counseling other children maybe sometimes i need to give it to my own children as well that's the only thing that uh, is little missing but i don't find it tough they they have all accepted me as i am and uh, they do help me also <laughs> very true ma'am we won't keep you waited much time last question what message would you like to give to our viewers for everybody there it should and you must believe in yourself so that is the mantra whatever me the circumstances whatever me the challenges if you believe in yourself you can definitely uh, go beyond your abilities so as everybody says that okay you may be a very star student during your school days or you may be a particular player or but everybody has their own uh, abilities so try to exploit that and uh, if you believe in yourself others will definitely do with this Thank you very much ma'am and I'm thankful for you for giving me 
lot of time and for our viewers thank you very much